you can use Active Data's strata function to analyze your data by group or by stratum. Here we're going to do a simple stratification of the dollar amount field from our invoices. Active Data generates statistics for the selected column, and these statistics can help you in determining what the appropriate intervals to use for your stratification. Here we're going to have Active Data create the bands for us and we are just going to choose fixed bands of $2,500 each. Active Data fills in the stratification grid such that it covers all of the items in the population from minimum to maximum. Once we click the Stratify button, the results are displayed in the grid. Here we can see that we display the count, percent of total, and the total amount for each strata. Active Data also adds a strata for lower limit exceptions and upper limit exceptions, that is, items that fall outside the range of the strata you specified. Active Data also provides descriptive statistics for each strata. At this point, we can adjust our intervals and re stratify, and when we're happy with the results, we can select Chart, click Finished and Active Data will produce an output stratification sheet containing the results of our stratification, as well as a chart. You can make adjustments to the chart using Excel's built-in charting functions. You can also stratify your data based on a date column. Here we're going to use the invoice date column and we're going to total on the invoice amount field. There are a number of ways of entering the intervals for each strata. Active Data will let you do it manually or provides you with a number of automated methods. Here we're just going to use fixed spans of 90 days. Now we can adjust these if we want. Now we click Stratify, and the results are presented in the stratification grid. When we click the Finish button, Active Data will create a new sheet containing the results of the stratification, along with a graph. Again, you can adjust the parameters for the graph by using Excel's built-in charting capabilities. With Active Data, you can extract a random sample from each of the strata within your data. Here we'll stratify the invoice amount field. We'll create fixed bands each being $2,500. And then we'll click the Stratify button to have Active Data populate the stratification grid. Now we can go over and click the Show Sample column. Here we can enter in the desired sample sizes for each strata. Once we're finished entering the sample sizes, we can accept the system generated random number seed and then click the sample button to have active data actually produce a sheet containing the sampled items. You can also produce stratifications for subsets or groups of the data rows within your sheet. For example, let's stratify by invoice amount and then let's click the stratify by group option. Then we can select the column containing the fiscal quarter and produce a separate stratification 
for each of the quarters contained within the sheet. We'll specify a $2,500 interval again, and then we'll click the Stratify button, and the results will be displayed in the stratification grid. And we can see that we have a separate stratification provided for each of the quarters that exist in the data. Now we'll click Finish to produce the resulting sheet containing a stratification for each of the quarters.